everyone. Thanks for tuning in to UCI's Take 2021 Take Back the Night and tuning in to learn more about Waymaker's Sexual Assault Victim Services and Prevention Program. Waymakers is a nonprofit that has been empowering individuals and families throughout Orange County for nearly 50 years. We build safer communities by helping individuals make their way through conflict and crisis to a place of strength and stability. Waymakers does this through five key areas, which are sheltering children, supporting victims, counseling families, resolving conflict, and educating communities. Through our Sexual Assault Victim Services Program, we serve as Orange County's Soul Rib Crisis Center. Our goals are to assist and empower those in our community who have been impacted by sexual violence, including victim survivors and their loved ones. The crime does not have to be reported to law enforcement to qualify for our services, and we help folks regardless of how long ago the crime or crimes occurred. Secondly, we work to prevent sexual assault, abuse, and harassment through programming that educates community members, connects service providers across different sectors, and create social norms that promote respect, consent, and equity. Those who have been impacted by sexual trauma in Orange County can learn more about our services during COVID-19 and be connected to one of our advocates by calling our free and confidential 24-hour sexual assault crisis hotline at 714-957-2737 or at 949-831-9110. For UCI's Take Back the Night this year, our virtual activity seeks to give you all the tools and the encouragement to start conversations about bodily autonomy, consent, active bystander intervention, and sexual assault with young people. By openly speaking about these traditionally taboo topics, you're doing your part to help us create a consent culture, a culture where respect and equity are the expected and easy options for everyone. This is a culture that does not excuse victim blaming, objectification, or abuse. This is a culture where asking for consent is the norm, supporting survivors of violence is an accepted best practice, and talking about healthy relationships, healthy sexuality, and sexual assault is commonplace. At the end, we encourage you to fill out a pledge to bring this information to a young person in your life, whether that's a younger sibling, a cousin, a mentee, a child, whomever. We look forward to sharing some of these responses with no names or personal information whatsoever on our social media platforms in order to bring greater awareness to our digital community. You can check them out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok at Savs Waymakers OC. While you're there, feel free to give us a follow and you can learn more about our services, our volunteer program, as well as educational information about healthy relationships, consent, self-care, and how we can work together to continue creating a consent culture. See you in the virtual world. Hello, welcome. My name is Julio Rabuyar. I am the Prevention Education Supervisor at WTLC. WTLC stands for Women's Transitional Living Center. We are a nonprofit organization based in Orange County, and our mission is to end the cycle of domestic violence and exploitation. Our organization was founded in 1976 as a result of a needs assessment study of battered women in Orange County. We're actually the oldest domestic violence program in Orange County and the third in the nation. And although our name is Women's Transitional Living Center, we are not gender exclusive. We're open to anybody that's needing service and our services are extended to a wide variety of programs which we'll talk about here. So the first is Bridge Housing. Bridge Housing is our housing program and we're able to help participants in need of leaving their, their living situation in different ways as far as our immediate shelter. We're able to provide long-term shelter for participants, as well as emergency situations. If we don't have fit in our shelter, we do provide motel stays. And <clears throat> we also offer extended uh, support as far as financial uh, support, including uh, paying for security deposits, uh, helping with uh, paying furniture, as well as first month's rent. We have counseling services. We have a variety of different services as far as individual sessions, group therapy, and alternative ways of providing services, therapeutic art, and animal assisted therapy. Our legal services is a group of, of legal advocates that help with uh, documentation processes as far as 
For example, if it's somebody doesn't know how to fill out a restraining order, we're able to support them in that, um, learn about their rights and, and, and how we can advocate for them. We also have an immigration team that is able to help survivors of, of domestic violence who have immigration uh, status. So we're able to provide that information and support them through that, through immigration purposes as well. We also have a community outreach and prevention education program where we do workshops, presentations for community members, uh, professional uh, staff, parents, students, uh, essentially anybody that's in need of information as far as that and teaching classes, including parenting, empowerment programs, and also supervised visitations that are court mandated. And here's our information. If you ever uh, need more information, we have a 24 seven helpline as well as our email and website. So thank you all for your time and take care. My name is Courtney, my pronouns are she, her. Really excited to tell you about some of the services that we offer at Planned Parenthood. So in Orange County, we have six different health centers. Our health centers are located in the cities of Anaheim, Costa Mesa, Mission Viejo, Orange, Santa Ana, and Westminster. At our health centers, our patients are able to access a variety of reproductive health services, which include STI testing and treatment, HIV screening, PrEP, which is an HIV prevention medication, pregnancy testing, options counseling, every FDA approved method of birth control is available, variety forms of emergency contraception are available, and preventative cancer screenings. In addition to reproductive health care, we also offer primary care, and people are able to access this primary care through Medi-Cal, Covered California, or through their private insurance. And with primary care, people gain access to annual checkups, cough and cold care, um, care for acne or skin problems, um, care for minor injuries, and nutrition and weight management. At our health centers, um, there are a variety of different ways that people can access the care that they need at this time. Um, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have adopted a few different service models in order to ensure the highest level of safety for our patients and for our staff. Um, so we do still have in-person appointments at this time, um, and that has been reduced in order to minimize the number of individuals in a health center at any given time. In addition to in-person appointments, we also have telehealth. Telehealth appointments allow people to access care from the comfort of their own home. We also have a drive-through pickup program um, where people are able to drive to a health center, stay in their car and access um, maybe prescriptions or treatments um, that they might need for their appointment um, without having to enter the health center. So remain contactless um, with that appointment. And we also have um, staff who speak Spanish at every single health center and Vietnamese speaking staff at our Westminster Health Center. Family practice program I want to tell you a little bit about. It's a really awesome program, no cost program that's um, by the state and it covers family planning services. So if people qualify for this program, they can utilize um, all of these different services for free. So it covers them, um, no cost. So health exams, STI testing and treatment, HIV screening, pregnancy testing, birth control methods, and family planning, counseling slash education. Um, and people are able to utilize Family Pact at our health centers as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you need to contact us in community education for any education related needs, you can email us at education at ppoSBC.org. And if you need to contact a health center to make an appointment, you can contact them at 714-922-4100. Thank you so much and I hope that you take care. Hello, and welcome to Delta Lambda Kai's Holistic Healing Through Trauma-Informed Yoga. Now before we begin, I'd like to ask you what color you're feeling. And it's alright if you understand why you're feeling these colors, but hopefully through this yoga session, you'll understand why through learning a little bit more about yourself. Now why is trauma informed?
performed yoga so important? While the sympathetic nervous system responds to triggering situations, replaying the traumatic event, reactions involve rapid heart rate, the rush of cortisol through the body, surging blood, and short erratic breathing. Through this journey, we hope that you will be able to learn how to live in, respond to, and honor the sensations of the body. We hope that you will be able to grow the capacity to hold space for it, tolerating feelings that create the ability to heal holistically. Here are some examples of how trauma-informed yoga supports healing. It fosters self-compassion, strengthens vagal tone, which deals with the unconscious part of the nervous system, builds safety and resilience, widens window of tolerance, supports community and self-care, strengthens coping skills, and builds neuroplasticity, which regards the growth and reorganization of neural networks within the brain. And the most important part of trauma-informed yoga is how it honors choice. Each person has different ideas about what is important and what makes them feel best. Making your own choices is very important because it gives your life meaning and because it helps you take charge of your life. Before we begin, remember that you may pause the video if you would like to do a pose longer or skip around to find what pose best suits you. For constructive rest, start on your back, knees bent. Take slow, full, even breaths, paying attention to the exhalation. Stay for five breaths. For bridge pose, inhale, ground down evenly through your feet as you lift your hips up and your arms overhead. On your exhale, lower your hips to the floor as your arms float down alongside the body. Do this pose four to six times. For child's pose, from all fours, sit back onto your heels with your arms extended in front of you. Relax your forehead on the floor and hold for three to five breaths. For downward facing dog, keep a soft bend in your knees to encourage your tailbone to point up toward the ceiling elongating the spine. Press the space between your shoulder blades up toward the ceiling and press down into your hands, knuckles, and fingertips. Keep your neck neutral while your eyes look to the middle of your mat. On an inhalation, press the ground away from you and on an exhalation, encourage your heels to come closer to the floor. Remember to do what feels right for you in your body. These postures are merely suggestive and you can modify them in any way to suit you. For chair pose, shift the weight in your feet towards your heels and keep your knees stacked. Hug your belly button up and back towards your spine and encourage your tailbone to reach down toward the ground. Bring your arms up and on an inhalation, Reach your fingertips away from your shoulders. On an exhalation, sit back and doubt a little deeper for five breaths. For warrior two pose, from a wide legged stance, place your front foot so it faces forward with your front knee stacked over your ankle and in line with your second and third toes. Slightly rotate your back foot. Reach your arms away from each other and out to a T-shape. Focus your eyes across the top of your front hand. On each inhalation, reach your arms farther away from each other. On your exhalations, bend a little more into the front knee. Hold for six to seven breaths. For eagle pose, root through all four corners of your right foot. Wrap your left leg over the right and then wrap your left foot over around your right ankle Squeeze your thighs together and draw your belly button up and back toward the spine. 
Wrap your left arm under the right and touch your palms. Reach up. On the inhalation, squeeze your thighs and arms together. On each exhalation, sit a little bit deeper. Then repeat on your opposite leg. Do this three to four times. And finally, for Savasana, release both legs out in front of you and rest here for as long as you'd like. Lastly, we invite you to discover within yourself a mantra that will follow you throughout the rest of your journey. Step one, for half an hour, spend the time journaling your innermost desires. Step two, reflect on what you've written and then focus on what speaks to you the most. Step three, create a declarative statement. And step four, for 10 minutes a day, slowly repeat your mantra as you feel the words come alive. Although a mantra is commonly believed to be done in private, it is exceptional in being divulged to others. Delta Lambda Chi commonly believes in and supports reaching for the stars but remaining down to earth. We have confidence in everyone's capability of this because we know they hold the power of choice. Hi, I'm Detective Nisbeka with the Irvine Police Department. I investigate crimes against persons, including sexual assault. My area of responsibility includes the area around UCI campus, and as a result, I work with victims of many different backgrounds, many of whom are students. Sexual violence is an underreported crime, and we are here to support you if this has happened to you. The safety of sexual assault victims is everyone's responsibility. However, the biggest advocate for your safety is yourself. There are things that we all can do to take control of and ensure our own safety and well-being. Some of the ways to do this include, do not accept drinks from people you don't know and trust. Do not experiment with or use drugs. Be aware of your surroundings. All of this goes into making sure you are able to communicate what is and what is not okay with you. This contributes to making safe decisions throughout the night, like how to get home and who you go with, if anyone. Despite anyone's best efforts, we know that sexual violence still happens and the aftermath and reporting it is very difficult. Victim advocates, the care department at UCI campus, and the Irvine Police Department are available to help and support you and to provide additional services and information. You do not have to go through any of the process alone. You can bring a friend, a family member, or request an advocate be with you throughout the entire process. I am joined by a team of Crimes Against Persons Detectives in the Irvine Police Investigations Bureau. We are fortunate to have detectives who work in partnership with the LGBTQ community, and here to speak with you now is Detective John Sanders. Hello, I'm Detective Sanders from the Irvine Police Department. I'm assigned to investigate crimes against persons, which includes investigating sexual assaults. As my partner said, sex crimes are one of the most underreported crimes in the community, especially in the LGBTQ community. There are some precautions you can take to protect yourself especially when using online dating apps such as Grindr or Tinder. Take a screenshot of the person you're meeting and share it with someone you trust. Share your meeting location with someone you trust. Meet in a public place and get to know the person first. Never accept drinks from someone you don't know. It's very common for suspects to place drugs and alcoholic drinks. Trust your own instincts. Do not be pressured into a situation. Make it clear what you're comfortable with. If you're a victim, report it immediately. Evidence collection is key into resolving these crimes. If you have questions or need additional resources, the Irvine Police Department has designated two LGBTQ liaisons that you could contact directly. If you're hesitant or fearful of making a police report, I am one of those LGBTQ liaisons. I can be contacted at 949-724-7233 or at jsanders at cityofirvine.org. The other liaison is Detective Christy Valentine. She can be reached at 949-724-7223 or at kvalentine at cityofirvine.org. 
Know that you're not alone in these situations and that there are many resources to help you get through these difficult times.
Hey everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hello, welcome to PSA. I'm Sabrina and I'm this year's president. I'm a third year double majoring in political science and psychology and double minoring in philosophy and education. Hi everyone, my name is Mylin Cruzado. I'm a fourth year psychology major, double minor in digital information systems and management, and I'm this year's vice president. Hi, I'm Jaslyn, and I am a second year psychological science major, and I am this year's secretary. Hello, everyone. My name is Kate Chan, and I'm a second year, um, and I'm PSA's marketing coordinator and webmaster this year, and I'm double major in psychology and business administration. Hi, my name is Strati Latore, and I am this year's outreach chair, and I'm a third year double majoring in psychological sciences and criminology law and society with a minor in education. Hi, my name is Jenny, and I'm this year's community service chair. I am a third year majoring in psychology and social behavior and hoping to minor in innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, hi everyone, my name is Feliz Jairo Lucero. I'm a third year psych major with a minor in biological sciences and I'm this year's social chair. Now we're going to get into the video and um, we hope to see you at meeting.